Hey everybody, it's Amanda. So, for some reason, I have been on a crazy nail polish binge lately. I've, I've cut myself off. There's no more. Well, except for the julep one. So, I'm going to do a separate video about my julep polishes. But, um, before I get started with this, I wanted to show something that one of my subscribers and I did a little swap. And she made me these gorgeous, gorgeous earrings. I'm not going to mention her name right here because I just want to check with her first to make sure it's okay to put her name out there but um they're sleeping beauty turquoise and silver and they are just so perfect thank you so much i absolutely love them um it's just beautiful anyways okay so moving on to the nail polish um i have been watching way too many um youtube videos lately and you will see why as i go through these because a lot of these were ones that i saw um, based on other people's reviews. So let me just kind of get started. So the first one, actually, this one is one, I don't know if I should count this. It's one that someone sent me, a friend of mine, not like the company, I don't mean that. And it's a Zoya polish, it's called Lola. And it's just the most gorgeous, bright pink with like a bit of a shimmer to it. It does take a couple coats to get opaque, but it looks really, really nice, especially on toes. So um, thank you so much. Absolutely loving this one. And, um, I would highly recommend this for a summer color. Um, for those of you that are concerned about nail polish ingredients and stuff like that, Zoya is one of the like four free um, nail polish brands. Okay, so the next um, one was one that I saw Couture Mom NYC talking about, and it's the Revlon Color Timeless. It's just like a really pale dove gray. I haven't bought any Revlon pro um, polish in a really long time. But um, this color just looked like a really nice neutral color to wear to work. So um, there um, was a Revlon sale going on that I had a coupon for at CVS. So I took advantage of that and picked that up. And I also picked up this other Revlon polish. Now I have picked up a couple of these. These are the Revlon Color Stays. And I, I did a whole review about them, but I do like them. Um, this one I picked it up because um, I was doing my toes red, white, and blue for 4th of July. In fact, I have... A red sparkle on right now because it's left over from fourth of july um and this is like a sparkle color the color is called calla lily um and i was hoping to be able to put it over the over my white to make it a little bit sparkly but it didn't really show up very well so maybe that's why it was on clearance at target i don't know although i would recommend the revlon color stay line i probably wouldn't recommend this particular color because it didn't really seem to do much if you're just looking for something real sheer maybe like for a french manicure or something it would be good but if you're looking for something where the sparkle Sparkle shows up this is probably not going to be it for you the next one I actually picked up because I had tried a different one of these it's the wet n wild mega last and this color is called on a trip I have this in a color called I need a refreshment and the reason that I got that is just because I saw it one day at Walgreens or something it was a dollar ninety nine um, I didn't have any colors like that in my collection and I thought that okay well I'll try it out because it said it had a wide brush I'm going to show you the brush. I really like the brush. It, it has a wide kind of rounded brush. It's almost exactly like the Dior nail br brush. And um, I really liked how that color held up. It held up great. I mean, I used a good a good base and top coat with it, but I was really surprised at, at how well this Wet n Wild Mega Last $1.99 um, stuff worked. So if you're curious about this, this might be a low cost option worth trying out from the drugstore. So the next one is one um, that I saw my fair sister talking about, and it is called Flip Flop Fantasy from China Glaze, number 873. And it goes on sort of like a bright melon pink. It's not quite neon, so it's a little bit more wearable with my skin tone and like true neons. And uh, it looked really pretty on her. She's even much more fair than I am, so I thought that this would be a nice one to try out. The next one I got was also from the clearance rack at Target, and this is one of the Cospar at Target nail polishes. And this doesn't even have a color on it, but it's just sort of this bright lime green. It was marked down to like a dollar. I haven't tried it yet, but I don't have any lime green, and I thought it would be kind of a fun summer color. So um, I'll give that one a go and let you know what I what I think. Um, the next ones are all actually Essie polishes, and so I'll just kind of go through these and show you what I have. Um, the first one is this color, and it is called Action, 
and it's sort of a bright peach color. I saw Couture Mom NYC also talking about this one, and she said that she liked to apply it over a white, and I found that that's true. Um, it definitely does apply much better over a white. I do like this color. I don't love this color on my skin tone. Again, this might work better for someone with a little bit darker of a skin tone, but it is, it is nice. Um, the next one that I picked up from Essie is this, and it is called To Buy or Not To Buy. It's just a true lilac color. I went into my Ulta looking for the new color from their summer line, Bikini Sotini, that I thought was super cute, and they were out of it, um, so I, I picked this one up um, in its place. Um, I like it. I don't like it as much as Bikini Sotini, um, but I bought that with my 20% off Ulta coupon, so I just decided to hang on to it because I do like it. Then I went into Walgreens and actually found da, 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 the Bikini Sotini. This is more of a periwinkle color. I really like this. I'm probably going to do my fingers for the shower today in this. And really, really super cute. Um, the other two that I got, I got these from um, CVS because I had some CVS rewards dollars that were about to expire. And this one is Mojito Madness. And this is kind of like a bright, fun summer green. I really like that. I was thinking of doing this on fingers and this on toes. I wasn't sure if that would be too much, but anyways, um, I digress. And then the last one that I got is this, and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. It's sort of like a foil blue. It's called Aruba Blue by Essie. I actually use this as my blue on my toes for um, my red, white, and blue. And um, this color is simply gorgeous, very opaque in two um, coats really really love this one so that's it for my summer um, nail polish haul if you'd like to tell me what some of your favorite summer colors are I would love to hear them I'm trying to be on a nail polish buying band though because I have so many colors and several of them I haven't even got an opportunity to wear yet so I want to make sure that I'm getting to wear all my super fun summer colors before the summer is over so anyways thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you in the next video bye bye